Hey everybody, X Joe 81 x and this is a uh, continuation of the October fail. If you don't know what I'm talking about, scroll down in the description and there'll be a little brief clip about what happened last week. This is a all-o-matic electronic door control. I think it's labeled an R5, but we could look at that a different time. Like I said, I would press the button and it would just hum and this and that. I went to work, I unplugged it. Well, there's really no other way to talk about it other than diagnosing it. And when it comes to electronics, who would, who would come here and help you? JK18, nice shirt. So between Karen and Susan watching this video, we're going to show you what might have happened or a conclusion. I presume it's a capacitor. Jay might also agree because before we unplugged it, I unplugged it, it hummed. Uh, according to the internet, a capacitor runs the motor, so the buttons worked, but the capacitor didn't run the motor. I mean, I could be wrong. So what we're going to do now is I'm taller, so we're just going to keep this rolling. I'm assuming we're good. I'm going to plug it in, see if it makes any weird noises yeah, while on camera. In, we'll see what happens and then we'll go and diagnose it. Yep. Uh, we'll touch upon what's on the side later. Jay, I think, has a video on his channel. Yeah, I think three parts. Three parts of us installing an old school uh, car, v alarm. car alarm just to help me out. Because why not? You're in the car and everyone has a button. So let's plug this in. Let me uh, change uh, aspect ratio. And uh, let's see what happens. Hopefully. Luck, nothing will happen. So nothing. Perfect. All so, right. So now, gonna... well, I, hopefully it doesn't work because this would hit if it did work. So we could press the button twice and it would stop it. But in a perfect world, Jay's gonna press one of the doorbell buttons. If it hums, I'm in a happy mood. I'm in a happy mood. Press it again, you'll get a buzz and a hum. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is I'm gonna unplug it because Jay is, uh, his professional opinion is that it thermaled out while I was playing with it. Right, but I think at this point it would have reset and the motor should have run, so I'm not thrilled with that buzz. The buzz, I think, was the relay or contactor in it. Right, but the... So I'm not happy with that. As far as the capacity, I mean, it didn't even try. Sure, so. it could be hung up. We could turn it by hand. Yeah, we'll um, see. We're going to have to drop the cover in that and we'll... Yep, I'm going so to uh, pass this over to Jay get a flathead and what you should see is this thing's going to drop like a transmission it uh, should hinge some point but we'll see there'll be a motor in here electronics so I'm going to hit pause and give it to Jay so now we're we've gotten the screws out and we're going to remove this panel and see what it shows us it's been on there since uh, 1973 probably so <laughs> I love the color of it and the speckled finish is nice, but um, you know, for work it would be even better. Oh wow. So we have a hinge piece. I don't see anything that. It's all buried in there. That's not well, great. That's a good sign. That Look at this. Yeah, the motor itself is not bad. Right, but what's one step closer to. You know what I'm trying to say? It's not like, oh my God, it's, it's you know. <sighs> I see so, the capacitor right there. That's what I'm assuming is broken. But, uh, so is this hinged? No, this is not hinged. There we go. It Excellent, that'll make it easier. So now we're gonna get up on a ladder and just poke around, look, see what's there, and then we'll figure out what to do next. Okay, we've taken the sides off. Kind of funny. They made it in two separate pieces. They made the belly of it like a oil pan 
and they made the two sides which sit like that so I don't know whatever they're all the same screws they're flatheads so we got Jay uh, over here uh, we almost uh, jumped the gun so we took the sides off let's just show you what's inside we have your typical motor we have some kind of pulley system would that be correct correct me if I'm completely wrong we have a belt, a belt. that should never wear out because it's nice and thick we have your China Metronics, which is da da da. That's a contact block or something. We have your capacitor that has three wires, and right there, Jay said that's a switch that probably controls everything. I'll try to get this. This is what the top looks like. Perfect view. Stay right there. There's a switch, and uh, just to talk about the door, it is a chain, and these are the switches. Uh, I forgot what they called them on the internet. This will go up and down. It's a, there's a roller on it and it will hit the contact up there. There's two contacts that you could see and it will stop the door at a certain point. And that's that. This one has already hit. You can barely see it, so that's it. So anyway, before we started rolling my video, we kind of plugged this in and we got it to the point where the door was up. It kind of touched the door. Jay was, I know he's a little old, but he was uh, quick enough to just unplug it. <laughs> so now what we did was we hit the button and it actually went back two inches and hit the limit switch. So what we're going to do live is hit this button and in a perfect world should scroll down to right about here. Yes, now the light turns on because it wants the door to open. This is the switch, it should hit. Shuts the door. Now, that was the problem that I was having with the door on. I hit this two or three times and it thermaled out. Is that, so what we could do is work it two or three times. I'll do it on camera and then we'll just connect the door with the load. Two things. One, it was October and it was just wonky. The weather might have changed. The limit switch might have been too, too dusty or there's more to the problem and it's wearing out and doesn't like the load of the door. You guys witnessed firsthand when we plugged it right in, it hummed. What I did off camera is I, I don't want to touch it so I lose my finger, but what I did was I, I jostled it. Yeah. I did a little bit of this. I'll oh, see how tight that is now. Feel how tight that is. Well, I'm gonna plug it before that. Right, right, right. Fuck me. Is it? Yeah. yeah that's, that's how it was before. But it was loose before. Yeah, that's what? true. So it's very tight now. Right. Why was it loose? Oh, maybe because the limit switch is locking it. Possibly. Something. Right. Because it was okay. So we'll do it two, three times. If, if right. Do me yeah. a favor. Plug it into the other plug, the black plug. That's where, yes, that's where it is. It shouldn't matter because it's all the same power. It can, I'll tell you a story of that off camera. So we're gonna um, hit this button. It's, they all work together because Jay wired it. <laughs> Ready, fingers yeah. clear? Yeah. Now if you hit it again, it will stop it. It won't go down the same way, it comes back. Oh no, I'm sorry, it does that. Because sometimes if you hit the button the wrong way, so and you might get a double press. Right. So yeah. what I'm what I'm liking is that with, without press. the load, you're not getting a good bang. The motor is just working. I've been in this house since 2015, and after demoing this room, this has been working since 2016-ish. And this technically, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Inside of that is such a time capsule because it's encased. It's, it's absolutely mint. In it's spot. pristine. I don't think there's anything wrong. Uh, we'll check the button a couple more times and then we'll put the load on it. Yeah, and we'll if put we put a meter on the buttons and, and test for uh, resistance in the wires, I, I don't think, you know, I think that would just make it not work instead of not You know, we're gonna hit this two or three times off camera and now put the load on it. Yeah. I will tell you one thing with the door, I will show you this, this spring mechanism right here does talk to each other because it lets the chain, like it, 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 it takes the load. Yes. So we're gonna just, you know, take a break and we'll come back. All right, well, we hooked it up all the way at the end because it's easier 
<laughs> to do that without lifting the door. And this is where the problem started. Now, on camera, I want to just take a quick look. Oh, I know why it's working now. Because well, I'm here. Yes, yeah, just like when you go to a doctor. <laughs> exactly. And when you go to a dentist. Yep. Your cavity stops and your... Whatever was hurting doesn't hurt anymore. Your ankle's fixed. Right. I just want... I'm taking a quick look at the tracks. I'm making sure nothing's on and off. It all is the same. These are meant... Oh. 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 That could have been a situation where it hit the track and it kind of mm, like it, yeah, it may have jammed but it, then when you release the door from the trolley it should have been all right right but right okay so that's in these are lower see these should move see i'm getting away from it so that's clear oh i don't like that's clear i don't like that this is not taking a load but that would uh, well, one thing economically, that, the middle is would be loose if there's a bow in the door like this, because that's taking. That concern me a little bit is the squeaky, squeaky sounds that it made uh, but coming up. But I guess it always did it's, that. It always did that. Yeah. Okay. You know, things come loose. You know, just because you're in a house. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to just take a wrench. And, you know, double check the... <laughs> the oomph of everything? The oomph of everything, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to hit it a couple of times. I'll, 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 you know, make you guys enjoy it. Again, I'll put a link in the description, but what it did was it went about one or two inches forward from now and stopped. So this is the big test because it stopped going down, not up. Everything sounds normal. Unfortunately, the very top piece does get the good boom because, again, I, it could be completely out of the ordinary that this thing just stopped. I, I don't know. We're going to hit it a couple of times. I mean, like you said, how many times a year do you press the button? A hundred? It's just like a car. You got one, you know, so Jay's staring at the thing, waiting for it to talk to him. I did that. You, I you did, did that. that. Okay. I'm sure that's not what we should be doing, but that's what the motor's for. The but the, the right the buttons wouldn't allow you to do that if it well, didn't. That's what it's there for. Right. It's, <laughs> <laughs> that weird like arm stretch always was normal. Always used to bug me up. Watch a couple other things in here if you want to run it one more time up and down. We're going to run this shit up and down. I'm sorry that uh, it's semi-informative. I'm sorry, YouTubers. I would love to have shown you fixing this. It's fixing it, doing something, but, but it doesn't appear that anything happened. But in all reality, when you guys look this up, there's literally one video and it's just doing the same thing in someone's house. So kudos to me throwing up the second video of a Olomatic. I don't know if there's any time stamps. I mean date stamps. There was one on the motor. There was some marking on the motor on the on that side. Yeah, it's something it. weird. Well, 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 here it is for you people that think that you could reverse look it up. Seven three 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 eight. Yeah, seven three three eight. So I'm sure it was in 1938. Because uh, electronics, you know, the light bulb was invented when it was invented. <laughs> um, all right, we're going to chooch this off. We'll conclude it later. Jay's going to, you know, do his thing. And we have other stuff to do. But uh, take it easy. Well, it works. <laughs> Unless it was... Jay thinks it's because it's October. Jay just straight up says, it's October. Screw it. Things, light bulbs burn out. Door, uh, garage door openers don't work. 
Uh, you know, cars don't run, flat tires happen. It's just one of those things that Jay created and now the world says, oh, this guy Jay created October? All right. <laughs> so, uh, right. Shit does break this one. <laughs> there is only a couple little things. Is the door installed like perfect? No, you could see that this bracket is a little wonky. You know, this, this upper track is not connected. And we could like center punch and drill that because it, it, it walks. But this is supposed to, these are designed to shift. So I think that it came up, it went up or down once or twice. It got stuck in the like the three inch motion or two inch motion going down, which means that maybe, I don't know. And then when I came up, I don't even remember if I got it. This was like movable and now it's locked. But that means that... I wonder if we disconnect the door from it, if it'll be loose again. Oh, right, I duh, right, the, the load. The door, I don't remember when we hooked that in versus yeah. when it was tight. So we're gonna put this back together. I'm gonna to conclude this video. Just for everybody watching who actually enjoys this, we're gonna go and uh, let's get a, let's change that. We've got a nice aerial view. We're going to show, oh, see what's happening is, you see this in my aerial view. So for this camera, we'll, uh, for this video, we'll leave it, but for future videos. So here. I'm sorry if I didn't get that before, just like the washing machine. Like, I'm sure there's people who like small motors. Let me try to see if I could get this. Oh, let me move this for you. A lot of people like that. did hear a buzzing. Was there always a buzzing when you were up there going up and down? It's just normal sounds. Everything's fine. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, JK18, for coming by. If there's any other Magic problems, humada, 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 humada. <laughs> if there's any future problems, trust me, there'll be a video. But hit like, hit subscribe, and uh, knock on wood that it was just October. October's anomalies. Take it easy.